All right, y'all, so you've been working on your shoulder cars, starting to find out what your range of motion is. You know, the reason we're doing these controlled articulate rotations so much in class is because they help to reduce inflammation, maintain and increase shoulder mobility, they help to flush out metabolic wastes and help to bring in building blocks, so they speed healing and can actually change the morphology of your joint. So as you're working on your shoulder cars, we begin with the arm across the body, and come into shoulder flexion here, right? Challenging yourself to keep the arms straight and bring your arm back by the ear as close as you can. Many of you with a lot of mobility will be able to go past the ear. Internal rotation happens next. Turn the palm out and really take the time to wring out the joint here and begin to reach towards the back wall. As you do this, internally rotate the arm continuously, reaching back to create as big a space as you possibly can until you end up with the arm by your body, thumb facing backward. From here, reach back as far as you can, and when you can't get any higher, externally rotate and sweep that arm back to that same range, back to flexion at the ear, across your body, palm facing forward, and coming down by your side. But the most important thing about these shoulder cars is that they're pain-free. So what do you do if they don't feel great? It's perfect timing. I just got a prolo injection in my shoulder. I have a traction tear from wrestling with my son and just got some prolo to just trigger the healing of it. So I have a ton of inflammation in my shoulder right now. It's really sore. Now I know that doing my cars is gonna help with that inflammation and help healing. So we're gonna test that range and see what I can do. So starting as I come across the body pain-free here, I'm starting to feel some stretching and I can tell there's tenderness up there a little bit less range of motion than the other side here. And where I really become limited as I come into flexion, you'll notice that the arm is not able to come up close because it starts to feel pain as I close the joint. We're always concerned about pain on the closing side. The closing angle is not our target. The angle of a stretch is the opening angle. So from here, coming into flexion as far as I can comfortably and begin to do that rotation. And you'll notice here, with all the extra inflammation in my shoulder, I can barely turn the palm out. I'm ringing as hard as I can, but without causing pain, I can't go any further. And so then you simply from there start to explore. As I head back, is this okay? It's not. So I've got to come forward, go around that spot that hurts. All right, starting to work the internal rotation. Could I go back anymore? Not today, I can't. Bring it forward and then find where's that range of motion. And I'll take it back so you can see, pinky finger is actually facing out for me at this time. And that's what it means to work through your range where you are at that given time. And I'll explore it on the way out. Now, that's not a place I can go. No, not there. Uh, here we go. This feels safe. And so this is my pain-free range, my pain-free cars for this shoulder for now. And I will tell you a secret. It looks a lot better than it did yesterday. So when you're working on these exercises at home, make sure that you're working in your pain-free range so you're getting benefit out of them and not irritating an aggravated joint in the process. Thank you.